Hello everyone, thanks so much for joining me here tonight for my cup, or actually my small beer mug. Today is Saturday, April the 15th, and I'm actually, I have everything put down here because this, this is going to be, a, this is going to be one for the records. <laughs> it is time of night, I probably don't even need to be on camera. But anyway, thank you so much for joining tonight or in the daytime or whenever you have a chance to actually view the video. To, I know I mentioned the other day that I want to do something dealing with dogs because I went through, I have so many dogs on my license and some of them, they're so detailed. Some of those, the dogs are so detailed. This is what I did. I know it sounds strange. I took a picture. This Now this is not, this actual dog right here, okay? This actual dog was full of lines, all kind of lines, all kind of lines. And what I did was I went on my Cricut and blotted out everything that you see here white, I blotted it out. Because when you start, when you get on a Cricut dealing with vinyl, you would, I would have had to weed out each of and every one of those lines and that wasn't important because I'm going to cover it anyway. So I went ahead and whited them out. And we're going to do a little puppy. Or a, well, it looks like a dog. A dog. It's going to look like, like a puppy by the time I finish it. And I had a beer mug because just for the size of it. I think I made it too big for one of my coffee cups. But I'm going to actually put it on this beer mug right here, right? At least it's, it's going to be something fun. And my intention really is to have it. I have a realistic um, dog. Well, I say a realistic one that may look like your actual dog, but I think I'm gonna do a fun color just to see how it goes because this will be my first time doing using what I decide to use. The other night I used the silver sequence, right? This particular sequence is um, this looks like eggplant. I know. Don't 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 even. I know. This is egg. That, color of eggplant, right? Oh, I'm dropping stuff. So this is the color of eggplant. And this is the sequence little studs. Now, let me move this out of the way here. So what I'm going to do, let me, let me get started because I don't want to make it really long when it's already two minutes. Uh-oh. I put a little um, alcohol on my, on my um, napkin here just so it can uh, it can actually adhere well, as we say. It'll stick really well on here. I don't see my little um, pressure thing. But I went ahead, as you see, I went ahead and put it on here. Because like I said, once I tried to, everything that you see white on here was all black with lines. And I just went through with my Cricut. And I got my tool and just went and just made some empty spots on my own, okay? So what I'm going to do, let's see, of course we want it to be on the outside part. Let's see how this comes out. Oh, hold on. Let me see if I, oh. just just that quick, I need to actually, I didn't bring it. I didn't bring my little um thing to scrape it. I, I don't know why. I have one, but it's not my number one thing to stay for what. But anyway, so here again, we want to make sure we get every little detail, right? Let's see here. Some of these small spots, you want to make sure it come off on the transfer tape. And once again, this is probably a piece of transfer tape I've used twice. Already, so let me see. I'm gonna take it up off of here. Okay, so voila, there's my dog. Okay, there's my dog. How Smokey say, That's my dog. So now I'm just gonna put it on here. You're gonna send it the best you can. All right. I would not have my 
that scraper. Sure. I was so busy trying to to revise this this um print right here. I left it in my in my office back there, but it's so much more lit in here. I got about three lights over here, three lights on the ceiling. <laughs> I want to make sure we see, and sometimes we have such a glare because of all the lighting that I'm trying to put on my camera. But anyway, so I hope everyone had a fantastic Saturday. You know my motto. If you can, if you can do bad on the weekends, I I, I don't know what to tell you. I'm, I can't help you because you know, like I said, I love the weekends, but I'm I'm also I also know that we have to get to a place of loving every day because every day is a a learning opportunity, and you know the goal is what make heaven on earth for yourself. Just do the best you can. Just do the best you can. Okay. So now, scrape that. Let's, let's take this off. Uh oh. See, there's a there's a spot, and this is the same spot just then too. Let's see. No problem. And take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Awesome. So now, you see that I have it. Let's stick this back on here. I may not even use this one again because this is, I know this has to be at least a memo three times on that. And like I said, I love the Cricut transfer tape. I just love it. Yes, I do. Now, some of this have some little scraggly ends, and I really want it like that because, you know, as, as you know, the dogs have hair all over, right? The thing about it, I think this is the Labradoodle to be very honest with you, but this is how it came out. Okay. Let's see. I'm using my, my white board right here, so. But I think you can see it pretty good, right? Yeah, that's the Labradoodle. Labradoodle looking crazy. Okay, so now, <laughs> so now, this is, this is what we're going to do. We're going to get right on into it. I have my eggplant. It looks, yeah, it looks like eggplant sequence. Now, I don't, I thought I had all colors, but I don't have black sequence. In a perfect world, I would have black or white sequence. I realize I have colors. I don't have the regular black color and the white. Let me show you how this one that I have here came. See how it come with four or five, I mean, um, this came with six actually. It comes like that, the sequence studs. You can get one, two, three, four, five. So I must have used one, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, five, and then this makes six. But no, it doesn't. Actually, it says six bags, so I clearly used it for something else. But this right here only have five left. So anyway, unless I put some of it, but no, I didn't. We're not even going to trip on it. So once again, if you recall from the other night, I always get my little toothpick here because I have the super large E6000. Is it showing up right? E6000 without a small tip on it. The, the smaller ones, oh, I love it because it comes with a tip. This may come with a tip, but when I ordered in bulk offline, I just ordered a bunch of these from Amazon, and I didn't even look for the chips, to be honest. So let's go ahead and get started, and let's see how this, this comes out. Because we, what, what are we trying to make here? A shaggy dog. That's it. A shaggy dog. I'm going to start just putting it on there. The beautiful part about using the sequence, you really, and, and when you're using texture like this, you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be perfect. Just lay it on and keep going. So let's see what we got. Let's see how it's going to come out here. All right. So let's rock and roll. All right. So I'm just going to be picking them up here. And stacking them. And I'm going to show you what I'm doing. All I'm doing is just like the one I did yesterday at the um, the Finger Wave Diva. All, I call it the Finger Wave Diva mug. 
and I had a sequence on yesterday and all I did was just stack these sequences on top of each other and I think that might be why I like this so much because you don't have to be it, it does not have to be perfect you just push it in place I'm gonna do a few more and then I'm gonna let you see how it's coming out on this end and sometimes you pick up two at a time which is fine because it's so easy see how quickly and, and plus, when you use E6000, don't play with it. The E6000 might dry out. Now, I noticed the bigger um, E6000 adhesive that I have, this big mug here, it won't normally get, um, it won't just get hard as quickly as that small one do. But because I have my ceiling fan going, we don't know, so we just want to go ahead and try to stack as much as we can, as quickly as we can. Just trying to get a good, there's so much glare, especially with this shininess here. And I'm trying to get it where it's facing upwards. I mean, it really doesn't matter, because here again, the beautiful part, okay, hold on. The beautiful part, and see, I do feel it getting hard right now. I feel like the adhesive will have to add some more adhesive to it. And it could be very easily because of the um, the air sealer thing going on. Let me see here. Let's add a little more. I won't add it as wide this time knowing that it's, it's going to harden so quickly. And I don't want to start to turn the sealer fan off. I have to get up there. Normally my son is a little taller. He can just do it. I have to pull like a, a chair. I know. It is what it is. Small people make the world go round. See how I made that up? <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get it. Let's go. And it's always good. We can just get into a rhythm. Pick it and go. And I think for me, um, because I do wear glasses or prescription lenses, contacts, sometimes it's such a strain. Especially if I do it at night like this with all the lights. But it's okay. It's okay because guess what? It's going to be fabulous. It's going to be fabulous because I can't wait to see how it's going to come out. When I start getting like this, like, ooh, I can't wait to see how fantastic it is. Because normally, somebody might not use the sequence for the texture. I, I, I just love the texture of these little um, this, these little um, pieces here. I really do. I don't know what my, what my obsession with it is, but I just love it. And like I said, even if you stick one, it does not have to be exactly precise it's just but it'll still come out where it looked like you knew exactly what you were doing so hopefully this one pack right here will go far enough over my design and I said I was going to show it to you I'm going to have to show it to you as soon as I get to the end of this only because once I put that glue on there I want to go ahead and get to the getting so give me just a second. I'm almost finished here. I don't know. I think I'm going to call this. See, if this was a pool, I would have called this. Well, I won't say it. I will eventually say it, but I won't say it right now. I want you all to judge what you, how you think it looks after I get it completed. Because I have a wonderful idea in my mind. As one thing about on things like this, I just start thinking of ideas. You know, that's, oh, that don't want to stick on that. So anyway, let me, let me show you what I have thus far. Let me put this one down there. Okay. And like I said, it is actually, um, what do you call it? Eggplant. The eggplant color. Let me see where that light is coming from. So there you go. So there's an eggplant color. And I'm going to fill the whole thing up. 
Ooh, you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what I should have done? We, we, we're gonna, we, we, okay, this is perfect. This, this is perfect because you, you're about to see me pull a major haul right here. I'm about to spread this right here. They're going either. Okay, so now, let me, in fact, you know what? Let me take all of this back off. You know why? That's a waste of material. Good going, girl. So this, so this is why I'm doing this. Hold on. Because I specifically went and got my silver studs, right? I specifically went and got that for the purpose. Making a nice little mess. For the purpose of adding a silver collar. Dog collar. Okay. Just a little group, but by the time I put it on there, you won't even notice. You'll have to go back and say, now where did, where did she do that piece now? Let's see how I want to put it on here. I'll take this off. Hold on, take that. All right. So, take these pieces off here. Sorry. Take these pieces off. Okay, so now I am going to add a chain. Oh, well, excuse me, collar. All right, we'll put a little more adhesive right here. And let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go all the way around here. Okay. Right there. Now, I'm going to go. And I have... I specifically pulled these to the side as well. I have some of these studs. Okay. And I brought them out for the purpose of putting a collar. Okay. All right. So we're getting it on here, here. Right here. Let's see what we're going to do here, I guess. And this is the doggy collar. Let's see. All right. So now I'm going to get back to the getting on here and start back with the sequence. Okay. I'm going to add a sequence. Add that glue right in here. And like I said, if you ever have, um, this is 18 minutes, okay. So we're not trying to keep it where we're not here all night, but ugh, that sometimes a little setback, but guess what? Let's see how it come out. Then you, and then we can make the judgment whether that little additional step I took was worth it or not. Was worth it or not. Okay, so now let's let's get it in there real quick so it doesn't um mess anything up. And then you know, of course, you can always just push it right there in place, okay? And let's get to it. I can get a good momentum going here. Right here. Here. They 
think it's going pretty good. Let's see. And I'm actually able to use some of them that I actually took off. I'm trying to go fast once again because, like I said, this E6000, it, traditionally it dries really quick, but I noticed that the bigger bottle, when I use it, doesn't dry as quickly as the smaller one, but I do have my air, my um, air condition, my ceiling fan, excuse me, going, and so I'm right under it, and so, yeah. I love the lighting in here, though. In comparison, I think most of most of my rooms are a little darker. And see, so, yeah, I don't. I got to have. I got to have some light. Okay, so let's push this out the way. Hmm. So, like I said, you still have a chance to kind of fix it and play with it before it gets too too settled. All right. Make sure my, my chain is looking awesome. Push that down a little bit there. All right, so let's go to the next piece. What time? Is it? Okay, so 21. Let's see how, how far we can get for 30 minutes. I don't know that this will be a 30 minute. Maybe, maybe it'll be a 45 minute one tonight. Maybe be a 45 minute. I think we can do it. How about you? I think we can do it. And, and then I also brought my black, my black studs. And I'm going to show you why I did that. I might, you know what? Yeah, I'll put the, I'll put the black stud piece on last. So let's go. It's coming out beautifully. And once again, as I mentioned on one of my other videos, it's all about doing something different. This is definitely a different trip, okay? Like I said, years ago, I saw something online where somebody used the same, I, I say their sequence, at least they look like it. And it was a staggered look like this, and I just fell in love. And I was thinking... If I can really get to that, I'm going to try it. And so, I liked it. But here again, I think um, you just have to like this look because I would take this. I made like three or four cups. I want to say it was three cups. It might have been more than that now that I think about it. But I took several cups to some events. And I noticed they were the last ones almost on the table. And I didn't understand why because... Unless people just felt like, well, they could do that. And, and, and that's cool, too. They really wanted the studs, and so that's fine. Because the studs um, did a wonder, did wonderful sales at this particular event that I, that I started doing the sequence. And it still took a while for the sequence stuff to, um, to sell. I don't know why. Except that people thought, I don't know what people thought. But, you know, one thing about artists... Every uh, artist had their own um, interpretation of things and how they like to do it and just hope that someone else shares their creative eye, you know, and their appreciation for the creation, you know, so. And let's say, for example, I made these and they never sell, then I'll just know when, when it's time to get more inventory for my table, I might not, I, I probably wouldn't even try to make any more because... Here again, if the first one was in the cell, come on now. But I do like it. I don't think that's going to fit too well. Okay. I'm going to fix this on here pretty good. And it is coming along. It is coming. Come, we'll put the thumb in along. All right. So, let's see. As I... I'm going to go another angle down here on his legs. I'm trying to do something underneath the collar. Let me just figure out what's the next move. Because really, if you think about it, doing the sequence really might be just, might be faster to do the sequence 
than it is to do studs. Really. I don't know why. Now that I think about it, it might be the same amount. Maybe I just took longer oh, excuse me, placing studs versus just layering these over because I don't have to be precise somewhat on that. So maybe that's why I feel it's quicker. And it's just a simp it's just simply tapping it on, right? This is tapping it on there. Oh, okay. So move as quickly as you can with this. Well, I say move as quickly. You can just put less of the glue on there and just do small areas at a time. I really did a whole area just now. So I know I, I need to move quickly before everything sets. And then you can't use the glue because it has hardened, so. Hopefully I can get some feedback from y'all once I finish this and let me know what you think. And again, I know that the, um, I'm gonna let it sit overnight. And, yeah, I think I put quite a bit Trying to fill this up for a second. And what I may do in about three minutes, I may pause the camera and just keep doing this. At least you will know how to do it on your own. And I can come back with you with the final product. So give me just a second. I'm going to pause the camera after this little session and finish it on my own and then pick it up at the very end but at least you know what I am doing just staggering these on very simple okay okay I think we're getting close to where all my glue is ending And about two or three more right down here. Let's see. And then you can just kind of start pushing it. And I use this little tool right here to kind of push. I mean, you can use anything really, but this this was um, in the Cricut packet when I bought it. I bought a bundle at one time, and so it came with all the a whole bunch of vinyl and a whole and my Cricut machine and all my weeding tools. I just love it because sometimes I look at something instead of going piece by piece. And if I have the funding, I'll go ahead and just get it all at one time and knock it out. So I'm going to pause the video and give me just a second and we will be right back and I'll show you right where I am. Okay. Hold on. Okay, everyone. I was able to finish. And uh, there is quite a bit of the adhesive that I will have to clean off tomorrow. But let me let you get a good look here. Hopefully you can see it. We always, it's always about the lighting. I need, <laughs> I need the lighting, but then the lighting, and see all of my stuff got so much bling with it till good grief, you know. But yeah, so I was able to make the little, doggy and it's a chain keep in mind this sequence is um, about the color of my my tablecloth um, thing here but it's um eggplant sequence not to mention right there inside of there i have a the chain the chain uh, not a chain excuse me the collar right i made some little ears made a little tail and I added some black beads. I don't even know if you can see it right now. But some black beads right here for the toes, toenails type, or the little paws, I should say. But, like I said, I want to try something different. You see, I added the eyes. I added the, I added the black um, stud, the same one that I have down here. But of course, these are the smaller ones for the, for the paws down here, but I add the black beading. 
for the nose and the eyes. And of course I have, like I said, I have the, the silver collar, right? I started to put uh, a little lash thing here for the collar, but no, nah, I didn't do that. You're not gonna always add like whatever your dog's name is. I won't sell this one because I want it cracking the, um, actually I think I brought it in between shipping it from the store to my house. This has a little crack on the inside of it and I can feel it so I won't sell this. But at least we had an opportunity to work on this doggy. Now this is not the type of dog that looks more realistic. It's kind of fun. It almost looked like a little sequence pillow type thing. But it's it's so cute and overnight it will heat, you know, it'll get some, um, it'll dry out really well. And I can clean it up. Let me see if I can put it in here so you can see it really nicely. It's, it's still glare. It's still glare. It, it is what it is. My lighting is doing what I asked it to do, and I can't get mad at that. <laughs> okay, I can't get mad at it doing that. But anyway, so here it is. And you see, I kept the outline. I made the face really big on there. And I'm going to have to clean up a little bit by the little mouthpiece right here. The little black that I left out here. But um, yeah, it's just a little fun little shiny little sequence doggy pooch and I hope you enjoyed it I was, all I did was just once again I just layered the sequence right on top just keep layering it and you see why I added the eye, the, um, the beading for the eye beading for the nose add the collar you can have any color collar I could have had a black collar actually that would have stood out real well you see I'm pushing it in because it it will get hard. It's already hard, really, for the most part. And then, of course, the toenails here, or you call it the paw, I added a little tail. Oh, I also add these little whimsical ears. If you took the ears off, I mean, you could take the ears off, but I, was, I made it kind of whimsical and fun, you know? And so it's just, it's almost like a little sequence puppy. <laughs> a little sequence puppy. So I hope that you enjoy this tonight i it, it made good sense to go ahead and just do it put you on put it on pause and finish it up since i was able to get a great deal of it on screen for you to see that all i did was this layer once again okay so thanks so much and we'll try another oh I, I know what my project is i have i'm supposed to be doing a picture for someone and um we, we're gonna learn together tomorrow how about that <laughs> Because I've tried it, but I never I never truly had a successful one on it. But tomorrow, I'm going to have my most successful attempt at it. And we're going to make sure. Because this, um, this is a family member who needs a really special gift. And so I'm going to make sure I can still kind of get in there and do it. Because we want it to look like a million bucks. We don't want it to look like it was in the craft shop. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Because they can buy one offline if that's the case. But anyway, hope you enjoyed your little sequence puppy. You have a great evening, and I thank you. Once again, I'm going to put the information in the bottom. Please like, subscribe, and please share. That would help me out amazingly uh, with my channel. And once again, I enjoy doing this for you so you can learn and we can learn together, okay? Have a great evening, and we will see you back here tomorrow. Peace.